Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to do yet another um, tip and trick with using our chrome and our base color is going to be in the mood. So I have already done one coat. I'm just going to do a quick secondary coat. Um, and while that's setting up, I'm going to show, um, let's we're going to use the stamping kit today, which is one of my faves. Again, I am going to use my famous words, which is easy peasy. Um, again, the, um, oh, I got a little bit of stuff in there. Um, the stamping kit is another tool that is like easy peasy um, to glam up any nail. Um, our uh, polishes are all self leveling. So if for some reason um, it's just not sitting right, you just kind of tap it and it will uh, level itself out. There we go, okay, underneath the lamp. Okay, so that is done. So um, in terms of using our um, stamping kit, brand new, uh, you can buy new um, plates. There's three new plate plates available and there's three new colors available. Um, so we are going to use number six, which I believe is the Victorian, I'm not, 100% sure but always remember to take off the blue tab guys I didn't the very first time I used this and it was a hot mess we're going to use black over top and we're going to use our handy dandy tool um, to apply that so we'll show you how that works in a second um, so stamp only sticks to what um, is shiny so if I was to put chrome on top of this, it would stick to the whole thing. So I only want it to stick to the color that we're putting on over top of this. So you can either use your matter effect or use the gray side of your, um, your buffer and just buff the shine off of your nail. I'm going to put it over top of that because I don't want that to. So you want to take all the shine off. I mean, you're not doing it hard where you're going to. Um, take off your polish by any means, but just enough that you're taking off the shine off of the um, off of the nail itself. So there we go. So I've taken it off. <sighs> Give it a little wipe so it doesn't have any dust particles. And there we go. So there is like a matte finish using the buffer side. And then now we're just going to go in and take our. Um, whatever color you want like i said there's actually six colors now and three of them can be bought individually at this point um black white and gold i believe come in um in the kits okay so now let's pick a pattern i want one that's kind of big enough that you guys are going to see so let's use this one up in the corner so you're just going to take a tiny bit we only have one little nail so we don't need a lot that's probably way more than enough and then we're going to take our handy dandy uh, scraping tool, which I forgot to get out. Let me find it. Here it is. And we're just going to gently but firmly push it down because it's going to stick in all the little grooves that we have there. Okay, so that I put a little bit more because I feel like I'm I need there we go there we go okay so now we can see that it's all black you're going to take your stamper and you're just going to roll it over top gently um i'm wondering if i should i'm going to use the bottom one today <sighs> here we go so there's our design now we want this to go on the nail so Hold it as steady as I can for you guys to see. And you can turn it this way. And I'm just gently going to roll it over. So there we go. I didn't get the very bottom, so I'm gonna don't do this, but I'm just gonna just to for shits and giggles, just kind of throw that on there. Eh, it didn't it didn't turn out too bad. <laughs> so there we go. Whoops. So that's the actual chrome or not the chrome, that's just the stamper kit. So I'm going to put this under and I'm going to cure it. And I'm going to take my handy little, little wipe and wipe this down. Because I won't need it again. Um, sometimes it does take a bit 
because it does get in the groove. So you definitely want to clean that out. And in terms of cleaning our toppers, uh, my trick is using a roller brush or tape. Do not use the um, the cleanser pads. They have oil or not oil. They have alcohol in them, which will wreck the silicone um, and won't let your your topper won't won't last as long. So I typically that's all I do. Just wipe it with that. We're good. And let's wipe this one down. Close enough. Okay. So those are done. Okay, so now this is cured. Remember the bottom part is not buffed, but the top part, or the bottom part is buffed. So the chrome should not stick to it. And the top is um, shiny because of the gel that we just put under it. So now we're going to take our chrome, a little bit goes a long way, and then we're just gonna gently Rub it over top. And I don't know, I'm hoping that I probably should have brought that up closer. But so it was black, right? Now look at it, guys. It's like a brown gold. Is that not beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that's all you do is you just tap it in. Right? If some spots don't take, sometimes I find if you do this, that works just as well. So again, I'm going to take it off camera and I'm going to blow off any extra because I don't want to blow this off. <sighs> so there we go. And I'm going to put the lid back on and then we're going to top it with our Clearly Frisky because that's what seals the deal. And that is our amazing look. Is that not awesome? I'm telling you, easy peasy, ladies. I uh, literally can, I could have done this on my own nail and people would have thought I got it done in a salon and I did it myself within seconds. And you guys, you guys witnessed it all. So any, that is how quick and easy that little, uh, that little tool can be. Um, so chromes are, are where it's at. It's uh it's easy peasy and it um, it just changes the look. And like I said, there's there's 12 different um, chromes to use. So you can mix and match them. You can, you know, dress it up and do it as you like. But I'm just waiting for this to cure and then we'll I'll show you what the finished product is. There you go. Whoops, sorry. There you go. How pretty is that? It's uh, a nice little gold um, top on top of In the Mood. That was the color of choice we did. In the Mood and number five, which is, I'm not going to pronounce it right. Oh, Zenith. I can pronounce that one. <laughs> There's one of them that I have a hard time with. So Zenith and In the Mood gives you, voila, so pretty. Anyhow, thanks guys. Keep watching.